to the clutter episode two today we are doing primers um this is primers for the face and primers for the eyes we are just going to go ahead and hop straight in don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell that way you are notified when i upload future videos but we're going to go ahead and get straight into it so this is what I have my primers sitting in. If you haven't seen my setup, I kind of did show it in the episode 1 declutter. So I'll go ahead and link that up below and link that down below. That way you can go ahead and see me declutter my foundations and concealers. Today I want to try and get to my primers and my setting powders. And I'm going in the order that I do my makeup. Um, the only thing I didn't start with was brows. This is the W7 Blur to Perfection Faux Filter Prime Potion or Primer Potion. So if you haven't seen me try this out, I'll go ahead and link that down below. I didn't do like a dedicated video on it, but I did use it. It was something that I tried out in that video. But I do like this. It does blur. I don't think it stays very long on the skin, but it did blur out. And this was from Five Below for like five bucks. So it's a good primer to me i have no complaints so this is the fenty beauty pro filter instant retouch primer this is the soft matte primer and i like this primer i'm actually almost done with it but i don't think it gives me a soft matte look or else i just don't see it and that's the whole point of it um mine looks kind of disgusting i have no idea why but i really do like this and this is staying so this is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter and this is not necessarily like a primer, um, it's just uh, like an illuminating filter you put on before you put on foundation, before you put on your primer, uh, however you want to do that. I absolutely love this. If you haven't seen me try this out, it's part of my now dewy makeup routine. But yes, this is staying. I absolutely love. So this is the Beauty Bakery baking oil for the face. This was also in the video when I used my Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter. And this, this is staying. I don't use oil on my face very often um, or serums, but I do like this. I don't feel like it clogs my pores or anything. So this is staying. So this is the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I like this primer. Um, I don't know too much to say about it, but it is brand new in my collection, so it's staying. I do wanna use it more. I've used it once and I liked it. So I do wanna continue using it just to make sure, you know, I like it and see if I wanna get rid of it or not. So this is the Wet n Wild primer serum i have not used this yet but a, a youtuber that i watch she absolutely loves this she swears by it and i picked it up from walmart to try it so this is staying because i haven't tried it yet so this is the hello sunshine primer moisturizer and i got this whole skincare line i have the tonic and the jelly cleanser but this is an illuminating um moisturizer and another youtuber that I love. She used this and it looked so pretty. And then I was like, I have that in my collection and I haven't used it yet. I am not one to buy illuminating primers. I either buy matte primers or, you know, a hydrating primer because I have dry skin. I don't really buy illuminating primers and I didn't know this was an illuminating primer moisturizer until she said it in her video. So this is staying because I haven't tried it yet and it is orange scented tub so this is um a little makeup forever hydro booster primer this is staying because i haven't tried it yet so next i have the elf poreless putty primer i absolutely love this i used this when it first came out i used this like crazy and it looks like i have not put a dent in this um but this is staying i absolutely love this to go with that i also have like the little trio because i wanted to try the other two and then i wanted the backup of the poreless so this is the poreless putty primer which is staying this is the matte putty primer 
that is staying I did try that one I like that one and then this is the Illuminous Putty Primer which I have not tried yet so this is going to stay as well next I have the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer and I'm gonna be honest I do not reach for this anymore I use this a couple of times maybe and I haven't reached for it since I think it's the smell I don't like um, but yeah, I have not reached for this. I put like a little dent in it, or that might even be a finger dent. But I rarely reach for this, and I want to use it more because I remember this was all the rave in the beauty community, and I was just like, I'm not gonna buy it, and I ended up buying it. And this is like a little, not a sample, but this is the mini version, and I feel like this would last a really long time. It has lasted me a really long time. I got this in like the beginning of the year and i've only used it a handful of times so this is going to stay next i have the milani skin quench hydrating primer this is staying i absolutely love this Two faced hangover primer this i think i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this i do not reach for this i don't use it and i really don't think that i like it so here i have the elf mint melt cooling face primer and i absolutely love this and i love the milk face primer as well the grip face primer i'm sorry absolutely love that as well so this is staying i have the professional benefit hydrating primer i can't remember my thoughts on this and this is brand new it's just been sitting in my collection so i'm gonna go ahead and use this and then see if i like it so that is also going over there with the Too faced hangover primer this is something i use on my eyes this is the elf putty eye primer to be honest this is so drying but i love it like it's it's very drying on the eyes and i have the mac paint pot as well where is my paint pot so i can't find my mac paint pot right now but i do have a mac a mac paint pot that i recently bought and i absolutely love the paint pot it is way creamier than this this i'm not gonna lie i have to spray in order to use it on the eyes but i absolutely love it and it's cheaper than the mac paint pot but i love both um but if i had to choose like if i was doing a quick look and i needed a base i would choose the mac paint pot but i don't know if i want to get rid of this or not i really don't you guys when i say i use this like i use this and do you see how drying it is it's so it's just very drying but it picks up so well it's just very chalky and i do have to work with it a little bit which is why i say i would choose the mac paint pot over this so i do think i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this just because i don't i don't know i don't know i'm gonna put this in a maybe pile all right so next i have the elf glow radiant moisturizer I'm just going to let you know now, this might go ahead and go for me because I didn't know this was like a, an illuminating the moisturizer, even though it says radiant. Um, so one day I just put it on my face and I looked in the mirror and I was walking around like a, a, a disco ball. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this because it's a cheaper option to what I have now. So yeah, I am going to keep this. So this is the Believe Beauty pretty and primed hydrating primer i have not tried this yet so this is gonna stay i recently bought this uh, like a week or two ago so yeah this is gonna stay I have the milani rose primer this is the prep and hydrate lightweight base primer and i absolutely love this this is staying it's definitely hydrating i think i love this more than the skin quench um milani hydrating primer so this is the essence prime studio hydrating skin refreshing primer absolutely love i don't know it's it's just something about the hydrating primers because i have to use them because i have dry skin so i absolutely love this primer i'm not getting rid of many of my primers i see but this is not about trying to just get rid of stuff to get rid of stuff it's honestly about seeing what you love seeing rotating your makeup and then getting rid of what you don't use so i'm not going to force myself to get rid of nothing that i still want I have the hard candy hydrating primer this is the 12 hour makeup grip primer i also heard that this was a dupe for the milk uh 
hydro grip and I don't know I haven't tried this yet. <laughs> I'm, I don't know I haven't tried this yet so I'm gonna go ahead and try this and then we'll, we'll see so next I have the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer in the shade 1. To be honest, this I'm not a fan of. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this or just wait and grab another shade. When I got this in the mail, it was extremely watery and water was falling everywhere when I was trying to get the product out. And it was just a lot to deal with. So this might go ahead and go. And last, I have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I think this is, I, I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Yeah. Only because I don't, I didn't, I'm, I wasn't a fan of it. You can also use this as like a moisturizer. Um, but I wasn't a fan of it. It didn't like do anything spectacular to my skin. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. If you want to see me use this, I did do a video with it. So I'll go ahead and link that above and below. And yeah. All right. So this is what I'm going ahead and getting rid of. And this is what I am keeping. Um, just bear with me. I have makeup videos coming. I just don't feel like doing makeup at the moment. I really just want to go ahead and get these declutters out of the way because I do like watching these and I like discovering new makeup that way so yeah I will see you guys in the next declutter episode 3